It is snail mail day here at Paper and Moose. Join me as I open up some treasures sent from my wonderful viewers such as yourself. So yes, it is mail day or snail mail. Little Pam has her little snail friend here. I found him at a rummage sale for 15 cents. I would have showed you that footage, but that was on my SD card that wiped out all that footage. So you can just see the little snail. Pam has uh, gone to her tank top. She's ready to get a tan. <laughs> just wear some sunscreen. <laughs> but yes, it is mail day. As always, thank you to everyone that has sent mail. If I have not gotten to your package, please, please, please rest assured that it is upstairs in my one room waiting to have its time to shine um, so yes thank you for everyone who has sent mail who just watches the channel who shares the channel with their friends family co-workers pets uh, it is so appreciated and none of this would be possible without you kind of sounds like pbs when they say from viewers like you anyway yes on to the mail three packages today let's see what treasures have been sent via the post office this is from Ronnie. Mm, I want to say New York. I could be completely wrong. Don't know. This is a large box, so I can't really hold it up. There's some prime bags. Those are fun to reuse. Oh my goodness. Dear Renee, I really enjoy your show. You seem like a really nice lady. I notice you enjoy um, abstract paintings. It's something I enjoy also. I made one for you. I hope you like it. Enjoy. Sincerely, Ronnie. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't want to break it. And I'm shaking. Oh boy. It's like, look how fun. I love the colors on it so far. I'm gonna be gentle. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Hope none of you got motion sick there. So here's the first drawing. <laughs> uh, there's paper. That's a great drawing of a moose. I mean, I could not do that. Even the antlers look really good. And then here is what Ronnie did. Oh, I love it. It has all, it has the greens. It has the little pieces that are up on top. I really enjoy this. Thank you so much. Now, if I tried to do something like this, it probably would not come out as nice. It would just look like I swashed things on there. But this has a rhyme. It has a reason. It has movement to it. And I enjoy it. Let's go in a little pam's room which is my spare room. <laughs> this is really fun. I really do like this. Lots of greens in there, which I love. So thank you so much, Ronnie, for painting this and sending it my way. I really do appreciate it and your artwork. I'm trying to think like what, what vintage pieces I have that I can put around this. Because you could decorate a whole wall based just upon this piece and kind of buy items that relate or um, kind of go with this artwork. That'd be really fun to do too. The designer creator in me. I would love to, and I've been thinking about it, just go someplace for a night, someplace kind of local and you know work on my shirts that I still have to find the <laughs> What I'm going to put on them and maybe something else because I think getting away from the noise and the distractions would be very good for me. Not saying I can create anything like this, but it is inspiring. So thank you so much, Ronnie. I hope you are well. Little Pan enjoys that. We'll put that right there so it's safe. Next up. This is from, I even like how the color just pops out here. I see it in my, my phone that I'm using to make sure this is recording. But even just that little pop of color. 
just add something. Anyway, thanks again. Uh, so this is from Sandra in Dover, Pennsylvania. I want to see... I saw something in there that looks really nice. <laughs> but I always like to see if there's a card first. Dear Renee, please accept the enclosed ephemera as a gift. Couldn't think of a better person to give it to you. Sincerely, Sandy. Well, thank you, Sandy. Because I already see these beauties. Oh, look how lovely they are. So these are like die cuts. These are beautiful. I think it says made in, looks like A and, a and D on the bottom. So made in England. These are lovely. So yes, the die cut sheets you know the victorian sheets they used to come uh not always but for the most part together so you always see them connected this way people could cut what they wanted i rarely find them together anymore but these ladies are beautiful and we have these two other beauties this is printed in western germany they're also very nice now there are a lot of reproductions of, of the Victorian pieces. There are companies that make them and they do such a wonderful job. So if you, you know, are into junk journaling crafting and you don't want to, or if you can't find the originals, definitely the reproductions are just as beautiful. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Shelton House, these are jam labels. I love the apricot one. Product of Scotland. Gooseberry jam? I was just going to say snozberry. Who ever heard of a snozberry? If you know where that's from, let me know. I mean, I know. Just doing your, your, your trivia here. Black currant. The first time I ever had black currant juice was when I was in England. Uh, what was it called? Rubina. I think that's black currant. Oh, it was so good. These are beautiful. Such great colors. All right, we're, we're gonna look at those in a little bit. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. <laughs> this is a Kurt Adler Santa's World Christmas catalog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I will take, I'll take, oh, I'll take even five of each. I mean, I'm not going to be picky. I'll take one of each. Oh, this is amazing. Where did you find this? Even the train thinks it's wonderful. Oh, I think I'm going to have to do a video where I go through, where I go through this catalog with you all. And what is really wonderful is that these actually can be very helpful in identifying because oftentimes out in the wild you see, oh my gosh, you see these things and some of them look cheap, some of them look just like, you know, someone's little cousin made it, but they're actually wonderful pieces and so this can be a great help identifying. Okay, I gotta stop looking because I'll spend all day. I will. I'll make a video. Don't worry. And look at this one. Oh my gosh. So, this is an outstanding line of exclusive Christmas musicals from Berman and Anderson. Look at those little elves. The pe movable head pixie with jingle bells. Make sure it's still recording. See, this is what I'm talking about. These banks, sometimes you would just see them and be like, this thing is. I mean, the poodle one's pretty awesome. Ugh, noise, noise, noise. You know, some of these you'd see and think, oh, these are so cheap, but you never know what what they can be worth now. The garland, oh, this garland. That stuff gets... Oh, my God. <laughs> I 
Oh, uh, why can I just travel back in time and go to the little mom and pop stores and like other places and just buy all these things and just save them for years and years to come? Oh my gosh, Steven has the, the price list. Three dollars for a dozen. Sign me up. How wonderful. Sandra, I don't know where you found them, but I'm jealous. But now I don't have to be jealous because you've passed them along to me, those catalogs. Man. And we also have some photos. The beach. I really would enjoy wearing those kind of bathing suits. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm, I guess it could be hot, but it just seems like it's more practical. Maybe not the leggings, but I do enjoy the female bathing suits. Royal Crown Cola, they parked the, I'll take that truck. They parked their truck in front of the billboard for Royal Crown Cola. Uh, time machine. Look at this man. We have a good old, good old cowboy. Good old Tex. I would love to know what stories, he, what stories he told and what things he has seen. <laughs> they, oops, they wrote, Mary wrinkled this one up. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are wonderful. And we'll end on Sandra's with this one. Get the whole family together. This is from, it was taken in uh, Guten, it says Gutenberg, King Staten 31. Einen Dreizig, right? Einen Dreizig. <laughs> Practicing my German, which I would love to relearn Add that to my never-ending list of things that I would love to do. Well, Sandra, I cannot thank you enough because that stuff, I mean, those catalogs, those catalogs are wonderful for so many reasons. And thank you for passing them along to me. So last but not least, this is from Steve in Durham, North Carolina. I was in Durham for like a day at my old job. Oh, wow. I should inquire with the people doing construction. Like, can you give me your schedule? This way I know when to film. <laughs> oh, I don't want to break this. Oh, what a great picture. <gasps> I'll go there right now. Someone's yelling. Hi Renee, found this online. I knew where it needed to live. Oh, there's a whole bunch. The album is cent uh, centered on a 1930s band from Fargo, North Dakota called Lem Hawkins Hillbillies. In the write-up for the album online, the seller said he believes the album was put together by Lem Hawkins personally. According to the seller, Earl King, aka Lem, I think it's Lem, Hawkins was a prominent radio personality. He must have had a wonderful voice at the radio station WDAY and KFGO in Fargo, North Dakota for over 40 years. His band, Hillbillies, were a favorite at barn dances. Most of the photos are from the mid 30s, but they, there are some from the 20s and at least one from 1918. A few interesting things for history behind the paper. Maybe, yes, I need to do one of those again. My footage was lost, have to do everything all over. But yes, history behind the paper. Part of the album is about a 1933 trip to Yellowstone. One photo shows a road worker with a horse-drawn wagon. <gasps> Maybe part of the CCC improvements during the Depression. Oh, how wonderful. My grandfather, I'm fortunate enough, I actually have his um, photo album that he put together from the CCC um, group that he belonged to. I believe from Hackettstown, New Jersey. Uh, the singer Peggy Lee. Uh, began her career at WDAY on the Noonday Variety Show with Len Hawkins and his orchestra writing the music. Uh, lots of photos showing 20s and 30s fashion because, well, everyone is wearing clothes in the photos, except one where a guy is ducking into his tent 
in his unmentionables. <laughs> And another where a guy is ducking into a car and some sort of forerunner of the Speedo. They had a very cool long limo type car they called the bus. I don't know the make. I hope uh, one of your audience does or you do. Anyway, I hope you enjoy Steve. Steve, Steve. That building is amazing with the old advertising. We've lost so much of that. Of battery life left. Good packing. And I can reuse all this, as I always say. Let's get out my scissors. Oh my goodness. And you said this is from... Found us online. Luck. Oh, look at that. This is a familiar sight. <laughs> when you see one of these covers, you know what's inside is probably good. you are too you're just too nice to me I, I can't I honestly cannot uh, put into words how much I'm um, <clears throat> how much I'm, I'm always um, just at a loss of words for all of the I mean, sending something like this to me, I just can't, I can't really explain in words. See, I, I can't talk, but you all are just, uh, Grand Canyon, you all are just so nice and so sharing. And uh, as I said in my beginning, because of all of you, I'm able to do what I love. While not every day at a thrift store, yard sale, and estate sale might not be the best day, I might not walk away with something uh, amazing. Opening mail and reading all of my comments and just seeing something like this that you know Steve cared uh, to share with me, it's it, it does leave me speechless and I just want you all to know how much I really really appreciate everything that you all have done for me from sending something like this or sending something as simple as you know a, a photo I have been in your family for years or even something that you found at the bins, or even just leaving a comment or a thumbs up on a video. Oh my goodness, Grand Canyon, a scene in Yellowstone. Oh my goodness. These are wonderful. There are so many from Yellowstone. They are way too close. <laughs> okay so this is old faithful i don't want to ruin this but that's the guy i mean they're they're too close <laughs> that is why i love oh well i would love to go to yellowstone being able to see it through the eyes there's a picture of a moose and they circle it it's like they knew. It's like they knew. <laughs> but I was saying, being able to travel back in time and see it through the eyes of, of these men. This photo right here is amazing. Stagecoach at Old Faithful Inn. Oops. So there is the... I'm going to say this is the entrance as you're coming up. I'm gonna have to do the video. This is this is a wonderful piece of history, and as you said, there's photos of bears. <gasps> Researching this man, 
his life and the the work that he did putting into this album is just amazing. Young and Foolish. Old Homestead near Lewis, Minnesota. Thank you so much, Steve. I really thank you for finding this. <laughs> That's the one he was talking about. <laughs> uh, getting into the the car. But thank you so much for finding this and for thinking of me and taking the time. Crow hunting. A guy has crows. He shot crows. But thank you so much for taking the time and the effort to send this to me. Thank you to all of you, um, you know, to Sandra and to Ronnie. I'm speechless, and that's pretty much all that I can say. Because I really don't think words can do justice how I appreciate all of you. You know, I would never have found this near me, so it's just so nice and speechless. A good speechless though and boy i'm going to have a lot of fun looking through this looking through the catalogs i have to find the perfect place to put the painting you are all wonderful and you are wonderful to me and i hope that the kindness that you have shown me comes back to you over and over and over and over again thank you for watching thank you for the wonderful treasures and i hope that um you know what you send back out, what you send out comes back to you. And if there's something that you have been looking for for years, I hope that it finds you. Thank you so much. On to the next adventure. Who knows what it will be, but for today, I feel very blessed and cannot thank you all enough. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time.